of the top 10 infantry fighting vehicles. Next, a machine that has earned Britain the respect of her enemies. One that more than lives up to its name. The British MCV-80 Warrior. Manufacturer, GKN Defence. Power plant, one Perkins 550 brake horsepower diesel engine. Maximum speed, 75 kilometers per hour. Carrying capacity, three crew and seven troops. Armor, classified. Armament, one 30 millimeter Raden cannon, one 7.62 millimeter coaxial machine gun. Range, 663 kilometers. During the 1970s, as the Cold War was reaching its climax, the British military brass wanted an infantry fighting vehicle that could compete with the Soviet BMP-1 and 2. They demanded something that could carry 10 troops and their supplies, be mobile enough to keep up with the British Challenger Mark I tank, and be able to sustain hits from small arms fire and indirect artillery shell bursts. In 1987, they got their wish when the MCV-80 Warrior went into service. It serves the dual use of carrying troops that can fire and has its own armament for engaging in combat and a much better design than anything that the Soviet Union put out and allowed then uh, for a combined arms team in the British military to essentially be created. And that ability was demonstrated in 1991 during the first Gulf War. Capable of speeds in excess of 74 kilometers per hour and with a range of almost 650 kilometers over any terrain, this vehicle safely carried its troops to the front lines. Throughout the conflict, the warrior suffered no casualties from enemy fire. But it was during NATO peacekeeping missions in Bosnia and Kosovo that the 25-ton warrior truly made its mark. It's quite nice to have a great, big, intimidating-looking tracked vehicle to drive around in. Because the locals know you mean business. And Warrior is a tall, harsh-looking piece of equipment that says to the locals that when our helmet's off and the soft cap is on, we're your friend, don't make us into your enemy. In 2004, during the most recent conflict in Iraq, the warrior demonstrated its ability to take punishment. Caught in a fierce firefight, its driver managed to get the vehicle out of harm's way and save the lives of his badly wounded troops. For this action, the driver was awarded Britain's highest military honor, the Victoria Cross. That says a lot about the warrior because my understanding, we're talking about a vehicle that had something like 14 hits from RPG-7s. A vehicle that the driver was very confident with, that had the right mobility, had the right capabilities at the right time. Uh, it's something that people trust. And in the battlefield, there are very few things you trust. Earning the respect of those that have fought with and against it, the Tough Warrior is now the standard vehicle of the British Armed Forces and will remain so for the foreseeable future. You could not have a modern conventional military without a vehicle of that type. So, on our matrix, the Warrior scores high on carrying capability and mobility. It also earns strong marks for service length. But with only 789 built, its production rating lets it down as does its innovation score. Still, its scores are strong enough to put it firmly into third place on our list of the top 10 infantry fighting vehicles.